Sir and Chip, what are folks out at TIA having to say about this? Well, good evening to you, Rod. It seemed like a number of passengers we spoke with returning, to, returning from Cuba this morning had mixed emotions. Since Tampa International began charter service to Cuba in 2011, more than 300,000 people have traveled from Tampa to the island nation. On Saturday morning, two flights arrived from Cuba, Eastern Flight 3192 and American Flight 9473. As with most arrivals, there were hugs and kisses and conversation. What will the future hold for Cuba now that Fidel Castro has passed? Patty Rodriguez was there when the news broke. It was something like really emotional. We didn't know, I mean, it's like, uh, I don't even know how to say it, but like we were there when this happened. It's, it's, it's really nice. Reaction to Castro's death seems mixed. Older Cubans who remember the dictator in his heyday seem relieved. Their reaction, they were like happy. They died because like, peace. My brother has to say he was a bad man. Like, they almost went against war and all that. So, hopefully, they wanted like a better future. For Cuba now. But younger Cubans like Michael Sarlabus don't recall what life was like back then. I was with my family. I saw it on the news. I was like surprised. I was like, whoa, he died. And people were like, some people were like shocked. Some people were like happy. And the one common ground there is a majority of Cuban Americans now have hope that life will improve in their homeland. Rod. All right, Chip Lasowski reporting live in the News Center for us tonight. Chip, thank you.